I'm Larry Page. I'm the uh, curator of the fish collection here at the Florida Museum of Natural History. And I'm standing in one of the aisles in the collection. There are about 35 aisles like this, uh, which give you an indication of how large this collection is. We have about 2.2 million specimens, which makes it one of the five largest collections in North America and one of the most important in the world. And in part because of the size of the collection, we've recently received an award from the U.S. National Science Foundation to conduct a global inventory of saprinoforms. And saprinoforms are uh, it's a group of fishes that include minnows, suckers, loaches, barbs, and groups related to those. They're mostly small fishes. Uh, they're global in distribution. They're uh, extremely diverse. About 4,000 species are known and that makes it the largest group of freshwater fishes on the planet. Uh, why is it important to know um, what all the species are uh, to describe these undescribed species? It's like trying to understand uh, what's going on in an orchestra or in a football game. If you don't know what, who all the players are and what their roles are, you can't really understand what's going on. An ecosystem is much more complex, obviously, than an orchestra or uh, a football game. And, um, but even there, it's the same situation. If you don't know what the components of the ecosystem are, what the species are, you can't really understand what's going on in terms of the total uh, value and uh, resources available in that particular ecosystem. One of the uh, species we've recently discovered and already described, and uh, people seem to find particularly interesting because we named it uh, Lepidocephalichthys zeppelini, the zeppelini being in reference to the band Led Zeppelin. This was not my idea, by the way. This was uh, the student who was working with me. I'm not even sure who Led Zeppelin is. But he called it, he wanted to call it zeppelini because there's a particular structure on the uh, pectoral fin that um, it has two blades, one above and one below the fin, and it reminded him of the uh, guitar that uh, Jimmy Page uses in the Led Zeppelin band, and so we named it uh, Zeppelin Eye after that. And so uh, these are some of the examples of the fishes we're working on in the all saprinoformes. This uh, award that we have to study saprinoforms is the second award we've had from the U.S. National Science Foundation to study freshwater fishes. The first was uh, a sim similar award in that it was to conduct a global inventory of freshwater fishes, but that particular award was to study catfishes. Here's one of the fishes that we study. This is a catfish. You can always tell catfishes because they have these nice Whiskers, uh, this particular one is from the Mekong River of uh, Thailand and Laos, and so we were, we were working on that. But now we've switched to saprinoforms, which include, as I said earlier, uh, minnows, loaches, uh, suckers, and so on. If you would like more information on this particular project, uh, the saprinoformes inventory, you can go to a website called Saprinoformes Commons. And that will give you information on the diversity of this particular group of fishes and uh, what the project's all about, some of our objectives and methods and so on. And then for the earlier project on the catfishes, there's also a website called the All Catfish Species Inventory website. And you can go to uh, that website to get information about what we did with the catfishes.